My name is Ivan Agawa, uh, the National Coordinator Radio Maria Uganda. We are here to witness the end of Marathon 2022, a period for three months. Uh, we started in May and it has been rolling till today. Uh, we are closing in Kampala today, but we are not only closing in Kampala, we are closing in Mbarara, we are closing in Kabare, we are closing in Nepi, in Gulu, in Bale, in Moroto. So this is the campaign that we have had that, and it has been rolling. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our dear listeners who have supported Marathon 2022 who have been dear to us, who have been generous to all our substations and supporting the work of Mother Mary. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I would like to also appreciate uh, the team that has been working with them in the various substations. But most especially as we close here in Kampala today, it is, uh, it, has, it is a very big event and people have really shown us love. We are, we are having a walk to mark the end we started with a walk and we are ending with a walk. Uh, in uh, in Nepi, they had uh, a very big event that was yesterday. Uh, in Gulu, the same story. So we are here to mark the end of Marathon. And I would like to take this opportunity to continue to thank our dear listeners because they have really owned Radio Mara Uganda. Uh, up country, basically, we have had parish promotions. Uh, the parish priests in various uh, dioceses have really showed us love and they have really moved with us for the time of this, for this period of three months. Uh, and in Kampala, basically, it's where we have had most of the activities, it being the center and the capital. We have had various walks. We have had a walk in, uh, in Wakiso, we have had a walk in, um, in Waise, and, uh, and also in Kampala. This, is the, this will be our second walk. So uh, in, in the rest of the substations, because of the population there and the differences in, that we have in Kampala, we always have people preferring working through their parishes uh, because that's where, they, that's where they gather, that's where they show us love, where they gather at their parishes and the priests reach out to them in their small communities, still in their parishes. Uh, radio Maria is uh, a non-commercial radio. That is, the, that is the uniqueness of the radio. It is actually owned by the listeners. It is not owned by me. It's not owned by the promoters. It is owned by the listeners. So this has been a campaign of three months, but it doesn't mean that uh, we have stopped the promotions. The promotions keep coming. We shall keep having more and more ideas and more items on the table for them to be involved in it. Uh, we have a specific team for promoters across the country. They come up with ideas and they, yeah, they fundraise in various ways. Uh, mostly the walks, people love walking with Mother Mary. Uh, people also love the Marian nights. They love to spend the night with Mother Mary. And also we had uh, a health camp that uh, also we reached out to the people in, uh, in, uh, in Bina, Mutungo, Luzira. We had a health camp and uh, the turn up was great. We reached out to people both, both physically and also spiritually and also health wise. And uh, it also tripled our promotions because we showed them love by treating them physically and also the spiritual nourishment that they get from Radio Maria. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to specifically identify people because people really love Radio Maria. That's what I can say. We have different people on different levels who have really helped Radio Maria, who are still helping Radio Maria, and who still associate with Radio Maria. So yeah, I don't. I just want to appreciate our listeners. I want to appreciate all our supporters. I want to appreciate everyone who associates with Radio Maria. I don't want to specifically identify someone because there are very many that I'm going to be leaving out, and who are the majority.